These are some of the upgrades that have been done to Chatterbox before I get ready to release them. I have switched to the Religo platform. These T decks, I just really liked them, and I think they do a fantastic job of designing these things. These have the trackball and the keyboard, and also GPS, and so I take full advantage of all those things. I've got an SD card, which I use, and the same for the T Beam, has an SD card. So if you want to use something for a node or a base station type thing, uh, this would work really well. I was initially curious about the internal antenna, and yesterday I was getting, I actually got over six miles from my house with this internal antenna. So they must have those tuned pretty well. I, I was a little surprised by that. I don't know about the battery life yet either. I need to test that. It's definitely not as big as the battery that I put in these, but yeah, we'll see. The trackball scrolls up and down just like you would expect. You can also use your finger just like you would on a phone, swipe up and down. Touch things to reply. Uh, you can touch on someone's profile to see who, who that was that sent you the message. Your settings, you can change a lot of settings in here that I'm not going to go through, but um, th those are pretty accessible. You can explore anybody that's in your cluster and see what kind of device they are, where their location was. For instance, this person, I'll pick them. And what it's gonna tell me is, I'm not actually in direct contact with this person. They're a couple of hops away, mesh-wise. So this timestamp is uh, about 15 minutes old. I can see what it was. I can see the fact that it's 15 minutes old and I can see to get to them, I would go 110 degrees which would be uh, that way, which is correct. 1,450 meters, which is also correct. If they go out of range, I get the last known position. If they're in range, then I'm getting their live position. If we went out of contact, I can see the last time I saw them, which direction were they going and how fast. Or if it's live, again, I can see what it is right now. And this relative to me will change as we both move around. And it doesn't have to be a person. It could be these things have, have GPS in them as well. So I could drop one of these somewhere and always know my location relative to that. You can navigate around with the trackball. I, just, I like this thing a lot. The keypad is very easy to use. I mean, it's definitely a lot easier than trying to, you know, because you can feel where the keys are. Um... It just makes it a lot easier. I think if you were outside with wet fingers or something, that would definitely be helpful. On the neighbors here, I can see everybody that's actually in direct contact, what, what the signal strength is, any of their locations. If I send a message to any of these people, it's going to go straight there. It's not going to go through, through any meshing or anything like that. And you'll see people pop in and out as the signal changes. Also with the UI, you can see I've tried to make it a lot more phone-like. So it's more like what you're used to and not like a, uh, well, not like it was before. You can, you can see that they are rotating in sync on the same frequency, 915.8, 915.8. All the security's there, just like it was before. The green check mark means I actually got a signed confirmation from... The device so I know for a fact that it's sitting on this device here. Let's say if you didn't happen to have a compass, you know, now I'm looking at my own location, okay? So this is where I'm sitting. I could use the heading to figure out which direction I'm going if I just start walking. That's kind of interesting. Since I've moved to an SD cards instead of RAM, you can make backups of your device. And if you've got a password on here, um, whatever is on this SD card is encrypted with your password no matter where you put it. So you could uh, make copies of your SD card and, and those be backups. People could share a device uh, by switching the SD card in and out. I'm uh, working on getting these things available on the site, pre-configured, pre-installed and everything. I would expect that in the next uh, couple of weeks. In the meantime, I'm going to be doing some more testing. Uh, I got some drone testing to do today and uh, <laughs> I've got a lot to do. Thanks. Thanks for checking it out.